name is Rara Rosike, and today I'm going to take you on my Syracuse University campus tour. We're going to make beats, albums, music, podcasts. So hands down, one of my favorite places on this building, because not everybody has access to it, and you need the events have access, and let's take you in. Or if you come here, you have to know her. If you don't, you should transfer here. This is fantastic. <laughs> So let's go check it out. Hello everyone, my name is Rara Rosique. I go by Rudy. I'm a senior here at Syracuse University. I'm a Navy veteran. And today I'm gonna to take you on my Syracuse University campus tour, a day in the life of a student veteran. Welcome to the National Veterans Resource Center. Scholarships, internships, anything you can think of, this building will help you out. So hands down, one of my favorite places on this building the Student Veteran Lounge is a place where we could be us, and it's awesome because not everybody has access to it, and you can be a veteran to have access to this little card this right here, approved. and let's take you in. So this is a lounge right here where a lot of veterans just come, hang out between classes, sleep on the couch, chill on their phone, it doesn't matter. This man over here, personally invited to stay at the Union, stay me on. I got hired on as an intern with Micron recently, and then I got invited to meet Joe Biden at the State of the Union, which was an awesome experience. I don't think I would have been able to do it without uh, Syracuse University. Yeah, like, this building has helped veterans so much, can reach their goals, reach their potential. So if you're a veteran, you gotta come here to Syracuse University and hang out with us. So another awesome part about this building is the uh, convenience. So our student veteran lodge is right here. Financial aid, we're paying for our school is right here. Let's go meet them. This is Karen McKinkle. She's a school certified official, which means any student veteran has any issues paying or how to pay for school, she's the one to talk to. Let's go meet her. Hello, Carrie. Hi, Rudy. How, how are you doing you? today? Good. How are you doing? Good. Well, here we go over any benefits that you might have, how we get you certified through the VA. We help you bridge that gap. A lot of student veterans, when they come to Syracuse, don't know what benefits they have for themselves or important because you're getting paid. <laughs> Super important. If you come here, you have to know her. If you don't come here, you should transfer here. This is fantastic. <laughs> I'm in here all the time. They also do a VA work studies, which is fantastic for us. A little extra income throughout the semester, and it really pays dividends. So next, we're gonna go upstairs to the third floor, which is where I do my internships over the summer. This is one of the most beautiful parts of the building, in my opinion. All right, so this is a parade ground. This is an veteran organization that comes here pretty often during the football season, basketball season. We do tailgates, food, have fun, cornhole games, relax, decompress. So the third floor isn't just fun and games. A lot of student veterans do internships here. So over the summer, I had the pleasure of doing internship with Dr. Haney, the vice chancellor of the school. And one of the people I did the internships with was Isaac Hernandez. This building represents all of the military connected students here at Syracuse University. And actually one of the projects that we had him working on was a research project for the Office of uh, Veteran and Military Affairs. Thank so, you, man. Hey, have a good one. Appreciate it. But there's only one aspect of the entire Syracuse University campus. Let's go take out some other resources here on campus. So the next stop on the Syracuse campus tour is Census Project, right here located at Steel Hall. We're gonna make beats, albums, music, podcasts. Let's go check it out. What's going on, man? So you may not knowing anything about editing, producing, podcasting. And this man right here, <laughs> the genius behind the Census Honest. Project, uh, could explain what this room's all about. Even if you've never, you know, created music before, you've never played an instrument, we'd like everyone to come in and try their hand at it. I'm here to help with any personal projects. You forgot the best part, Nick. This is all free. Yes, that's, I should have mentioned that. Yeah. All free. Uh, I came in here, I did not know anybody. They really welcomed me in. It was a great place. I highly recommend the spot if you're a student on campus. All right, well, that was the audio lab. We do all the editing and producing, but now let's go up to the podcast room where all the magic happens. This is where I host my podcast called Deep Dive, where we talk about veteran transition into higher education in the hopes it helps the next wave of veterans get out of the military. Today, I have the distinct pleasure of having Dr. Mike Kenny with me. I'm on episode 15th now, working on my 16th. I realize there's so many other veterans on campus that have a fantastic story. So they come in here, they talk about their time in the military and how the transition was to higher education, and hopefully with the tips, helps the next wave of us student veterans come into higher education. It's called Deep Dive. It's also on YouTube under my name, Raul Rosique. So please check it out. If uh, you're a veteran, it might teach you a thing or two. It's definitely how me and a few other veterans. So my major is health and exercise science on the pre-doctor physical therapy track right here at the great Falk College. They gave me some real life experience when I got to work with the 
football team during the summer, and they really care about me and my future. So I truly appreciate all the staff and faculty here at Fall College. One of the main reasons I chose Syracuse University is because of Ernie Davis. He was an R2C and a football player. So when I got in the military, I severely broke my leg, couldn't walk for like a year. Part of the rehab, I was watching the movies Express. And I just put Syracuse University on my radar, on my map, just to kind of close loop a little bit why I came here. And I'm really grateful I did. So the next stop is Syracuse University Campus Store, the Barnes Center. I had to come here three or four times a week, work out, decompress, especially around finals week, just come relax a little bit. So go check it out. basement of the Barn Center, where the free weights are. I'm part of the Barbell Club, and this is where we all like to hang out and work out together. What's up, brother? So this is uh, Freddy. He was the previous uh, president of the Barbell Club, finding motivation. I guess they're already doing like a plug for the Barbell Club right now. Yeah, the Barbell Club is uh, basically the campus exclusive fitness club. Uh, we're trying to make it a place where basically all fitness levels are welcome. We have like exercise science officers that are in there, not necessarily personal trainers, but just kind of like community building officials. And that's really what it's about, is just kind of building community and um, trying to spread the message of health and wellness across masses. I do oh, appreciate you, brother. Good to see you, man. All right, so I was at the gym here at Barnes Center at Syracuse University. It was also our last spot here at the Syracuse University campus tour. I'll take around some of the highlights of my life here as a student vendor on campus. See you around soon.